Are you a senior living on a fixed income like CPP, OAS, or company pension? If so, you could be eligible for a massive one-time payment of $1,400 from the Canadian government this month. That's right, $1,400 of free cash just for being a senior citizen in this country. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announced this major new benefit just days ago, and already seniors across Canada are lining up to claim their share. But the window to apply is very limited, and there are some strict eligibility criteria. So stick around because in this video, I'll break down everything you need to know about this exciting new $1,400 payment. I'll explain who exactly qualifies, how to apply, and what the strict deadlines are that you cannot miss. This could potentially put $1,400 in your pocket this month, so you won't want to miss a second of this video. What's up Canadian cash chasers? For those who are new here, my name is Daniel and this is the Canada Benefit Hub. We're all about helping hardworking Canadians like you maximize your money through little known government benefits, rebates, tax credits, and more. If you're into saving cash and putting more money back into your pocket each month, you'll want to smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. We've got new money-making videos just like this hitting the channel every single week. Okay, let's dive into the details on this brand new $1,400 seniors benefit that Trudeau just announced out of nowhere. Just a few days ago, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau held a surprise press conference where he unveiled a massive one-time payment for lower-income seniors across Canada. He said, quote, Seniors have worked hard their entire lives to build this country and deserve to enjoy a comfortable retirement. But with everything from food to heating costs soaring, Far too many are struggling right now just to stay afloat on their fixed incomes. That's why today I'm announcing an immediate $1,400 seniors cost of living payment to help low-income elderly Canadians pay their bills and make ends meet. So in a nutshell, if you are currently receiving the old age security pension or other qualifying fixed income sources like CPP or company pensions, and your total household income from all sources falls below certain low income thresholds, you should be eligible for this new $1,400 payment. The specifics around the qualification criteria are still a bit unclear, as Trudeau didn't provide every single detail during his announcement. However, he did state that the payment would be entirely non-taxable income that you wouldn't have to claim on next year's return. He also said the funds should start hitting seniors' bank accounts before the end of June, so we're just talking days or a couple weeks away at the most. The goal is to get this money out and helping people as quickly as possible. Now, no government program putting cash in people's pockets would be complete without some kind of age criteria or cutoff. And for this $1,400 payment, Trudeau specified that you must have been 65 years of age or older as of January 1, 2024 in order to qualify. So essentially, this payment covers all current OAS recipients, along with some slightly younger retirees on fixed incomes like CPP disability or private pensions. As long as you were 65 by the start of this year and meet the income requirements, you should get the full $1,400. Speaking of those income requirements, Trudeau did provide some specific guidelines around what maximum income levels will allow you to qualify as low income and therefore eligible for the payment. For single seniors, he stated that your total income from all sources combined in 2023 will need to be below $49,000. So that includes OAS, CPP, any job or self-employment income, investment income, rental income, you name it, anything above $49,000, and you'll likely be disqualified from receiving this $1,400 payment. For senior couples, the income cutoff is higher at $64,000 combined for both spouses from all sources in 2023. So two seniors who are married or common law with a total household income below $64,000 should meet that criteria. Now those are the hard income caps Trudeau announced, but he also hinted that the payment amounts could be reduced on a sliding scale for seniors coming close to those $49,000 and $64,000 limits. His exact quote was, while all low-income seniors under the $49,000 single and $64,000 couple thresholds will receive the full $1,400, 
those with incomes approaching those limits may receive a partial payment amount. So it sounds like the closer your total income for 2023 is to $49,000 or $64,000, the less you may actually receive out of that maximum $1,400 payment. Whether it's a straight percentage reduction or some kind of bracketed system, we'll have to wait for the full eligibility details from the CRA. One other key criteria Trudeau mentioned was around resident status. He said that in order to receive the full $1,400 payment, seniors must have been considered residents of Canada for tax purposes throughout all of 2023. So recent immigrants who became residents at any point last year would unfortunately not qualify for the full amount. In terms of actually applying and receiving this payment, the Prime Minister provided a bit of guidance, although the finer details are still being worked out. For seniors who filed a 2022 tax return, which is the case for the vast majority aged 65 and up, Trudeau stated that the $1,400 payment should theoretically arrive automatically and seamlessly. It will just show up direct deposited into the same bank account where you receive OASCPP tax refunds and any other government payments you get. He said that for tax filing seniors, no additional application or paperwork should be required to receive this $1,400. The CRA should already have all your personal income and banking information on file to process the payment. However, for the relatively small number of low-income seniors who did not file a tax return for 2022, there will be a streamlined application process to go through. Trudeau said this would likely just involve filling out some kind of basic web form or paper application to verify your age, income sources, and bank details for direct deposit. His team is aiming to have this non-tax filer application process up and running by the end of June at the absolute latest, so he urged any non-tax filing seniors listening to start gathering the necessary documents like bank statements, OAS stubs, pension payment details, etc. As soon as the website or phone number is announced, Trudeau said to apply right away. That way you don't risk missing out on getting that $1,400 payment deposited before the end of next month. One group Trudeau did specifically mention would then only need to apply separately are low-income seniors who are already receiving the GST slash HST tax credit on an ongoing basis. His quote was, for those seniors currently receiving the GST tax credit, you have already proven your household income falls below the qualifying thresholds. So you will receive this new $1,400 payment automatically just like other Canadian taxpayers. The Prime Minister also provided some guidance around the potential timing for these payments. He stated that the very first payments should start arriving in seniors' accounts over the next three to four weeks. However, he cautioned that due to the sheer number of anticipated recipients, it could take until the end of July before every final payment has been issued and processed. So if you're confident you're eligible, but don't see that $1,400 by mid to late July at the latest, that's likely when you want to follow up with the CRA. The Prime Minister also provided some guidance around the potential timing for these payments. He stated that the very first payments should start arriving in seniors' accounts over the next three to four weeks. However, he cautioned that due to the sheer number of anticipated recipients, it could take until the end of July before every final payment has been issued and processed. So if you're confident you're eligible but don't see that $1,400 by mid to late July at the latest, that's likely when you'd want to follow up with the CRA. As for how this estimated $7 billion cost for the senior's payment is being funded, Trudeau said the money is simply coming out of the federal government's projected $10 billion budget surplus for fiscal 2023. His rationale was that instead of paying down more debt or just letting it sit there, it made more sense to take that surplus cash and get it directly into the hands of struggling seniors facing high inflation and soaring costs of living. Now, while the one-time $1,400 payment itself is not technically tied to any specific inflation numbers, Trudeau clearly framed it as a way to help offset those increased monthly costs that have been disproportionately impacting seniors trying to survive on fixed incomes over the past year. Whether it's groceries, rent, home heating, prescription drugs, or other recurring expenses, 
This cash injection could provide some legitimate financial breathing room for millions of lower-income elderly Canadians. Of course, as you'd expect with any major government financial assistance announcement, Trudeau's $1,400 seniors payment promise is already being heavily criticized by opposition parties. The leader of the Conservative Party accused the Prime Minister of attempting a voter buy-off just months ahead of the next federal election cycle in 2024. He argued the money would be better spent on broader-based personal income tax relief that could benefit all working Canadians, not just temporary payments for a specific group. Meanwhile, the NEEP leader said that while she supported the idea of helping low-income seniors, the $1,400 payment amount was frankly too low and should have been at least $2,000 per person to truly make a meaningful difference in their monthly budgets. So as you can see, there's already the typical political finger-pointing and posturing happening. But despite the back and forth, the general consensus does seem to be that this payment could provide legitimate financial relief for millions of cash-strapped Canadian seniors. Assuming you do meet all those eligibility criteria around age, income thresholds, and residency status, an extra $1,400 in your pocket could make a huge impact. That's over two months' worth of OS payments that you could use to pay rent, restock your pantry, cover pharmacy bills, and other basic costs of living. Of course, the $1,400 payment is technically just being branded as a one-time payment for 2023. But if the program does end up being as popular and impactful as Trudeau's government hopes, there's certainly a chance it could become an annual top-up for lower-income seniors moving forward. Perhaps it gets tied to inflation numbers in future years, or is just kept as a flat $1,400 boost. Only time will tell if this ends up being a recurring annual payment rather than just for 2023. We'll have to keep an eye on future federal budgets and policies. For now, though, the key thing is just being aware that this new $1,400 payment exists, knowing if you potentially qualify based on the income thresholds of $49,000 for singles and $64,000 for couples, and being ready to either receive it automatically or apply before the likely mid to late July deadline. I'd recommend spreading the word about this payment to any other lower income seniors in your life or friends and family as well. Whether it's grandparents, older relatives, or neighbors, make sure they're in the loop so they don't accidentally miss out on this money. I'd recommend spreading the word about this payment to any other lower income seniors in your life or friends and family as well. Whether it's grandparents, older relatives, or neighbors, make sure they're in the loop so they don't accidentally miss out on this money. Having an extra $1,400 show up can literally be a life-changing amount for someone existing on just OS, CPP, and meager savings or investments. So you'll definitely want to ensure none of your elderly loved ones potentially overlook or miss this new benefit. If you or someone you know is still a little unsure about whether they'll qualify or has any other specific questions, I'd highly recommend calling the CRA's dedicated 1-800 number for this payment as soon as it is announced and set up in the coming weeks. Their staff should be able to go through your unique financial situation, income details, and any other criteria to give you a definitive answer on your eligibility status and roughly how much you might receive out of that maximum $1,400 payment. I'll also continue providing any updates on this new $1,400 seniors payment as more key details and clarifications emerge from the government. So make sure you're subscribed right here to the Canada Benefit Hub on YouTube with notifications turned on. Hit that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Of course, I'd absolutely love to hear your own thoughts and opinions on this major $1,400 payment announcement from Prime Minister Trudeau. Are you or a senior loved one potentially eligible to receive it based on the income thresholds of $49,000 for singles and $64,000 for couples that we discussed? How much of a difference would an extra $1,400 make for your monthly finances and costs of living? Would it legitimately help provide some breathing room? Or does it still fall short of the rising inflation and expenses you're facing? Any other questions I can try to clarify around the eligibility rules, the potential timing for receiving your payment, or just the general rollout of this new program? Get those thoughts and questions fired off down in the comments section below. 
I'll do my best to respond to as many of you as possible over the next few days with any other insights or analysis I can provide. Hearing directly from all of you about how impactful this payment could be is really helpful for me as I continue covering this story. So get those comments rolling. And of course, let me know if you have any other money-saving tips, government benefits, or personal finance topics you'd like to see covered here on the Canada Benefit Hub. Your feedback helps shape the videos. Thanks so much for watching. Amazing community. I really appreciate you tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video very soon as we continue putting more cash back in your pockets. Take care.